Hey guys, it's Vince. Today I'm really excited about bringing you a product I've discussed in previous videos. We finally got them in. Um, for all my past clients and future clients that, have, that are on the list for these to actually become available, uh, I wanted to let you know um, that now they are and I will be sending everybody an email update. Um, just to give you guys a heads up, what I'm discussing is my new NEMA 34 profile steppers. Um, these steppers right now I have in two versions. I've got a 1700 ounce 5 amp 7.5 millihenry version. I also got the 1200 ounce 3.5 amp version of the same motor. Um, these are amazing motors guys. Uh, they definitely are going to be available and not break the bank so that you can use them either with a G540 or for your larger scale applications and again rated at a 5 amp max and also 3.5 amp it gives the end user a lot of different application um, uses. So thinking about it in them terms I wanted to show you guys scalability of what a typical NEMA 24, NEMA 23, this is my 600 ounce, which is a NEMA 24 platform. Um, the only main difference between these and the 23 is the length of the motor. That's why I sell these as a NEMA 23 because the bolt pattern is the exact same. The one thing here to take into consideration is that the shaft size on the NEMA 23, NEMA 24 is quarter inch and it has a single flat on the shaft. These new NEMA 34s, of course, being due to their size, you've got a double grounded shaft and it's half inch big difference in size of shaft because again we're dealing with a lot more torque so even at the minimal rating you're looking at one of these equals two of the 600 ounce which is a massive motor guys even at the smaller rating and again gives you guys the end user the availability to use gecko pro drives run them up to 80 volts I recommend 72 volts on a pro grade drive because again for the 8 volt difference you're not going to see a huge difference other than heat and speed so really take that into consideration and with the three and a half model um, three and a half amp model you'll definitely go with either a G540 for the guys that don't want to break the bank and still want the American Precision with a Gecko controller these will definitely fit the bill um, again when you're selecting your steppers and I tell everybody this always overshoot by 20% because the thing we have to remember is the faster we go to stepper motor the actual the torque then goes down if we're doing rapid motion so again most guys with knee mills are not dealing with a massive mill bed the size of the mill bed is not nearly as big as typical CNC routers so again it's up to you as far as what you want to use the applications for but overall these motors will provide you a really really nice foundation for your system without breaking the bank and again being available in two versions pretty much cover the entire spectrum of medium to larger scale mills. Um, that was my biggest concern. The 600 ounce has always been a beautiful medium motor and now that we're going into the larger scale it gives you guys even more um, uses as far as where you're going. If you know you need to lift heavier loads, you need to move heavier things, you need to lift heavier spindles, you've got it. Once again, no corners have been cut. You've got 18 gauge cable used on these, full tin wire, wire ends. Um, the motor cable is rated to 300 volts and it's also rated to 125 degrees Celsius. So again, this is a commercial quality motor. If I turn her around, uh, it's massive. Um, you can see the bearings are all fully sealed. Everything is nice and enca encapsulated. To give you an idea of just how heavy these motors are, guys, um, my NEMA 24, NEMA 23, 600 ounce is about 2.2 pounds. These units stand in at 10.6 pounds a piece. Okay, so keep that in mind as we, as you guys go over pricing and whatnot. Um, the big thing I want to cover with these motors as well, on top of not just the weight, because one of the big considerations here is the shipping characteristics. You can see these motors will ship in their own styrofoam container. Again, these were manufactured to hold just these motors due to their size and hold them safely, so it protects both our investment. The other thing to keep in mind is that these steppers are rated at 7.5 millihenry inductance, and that simply translates to lower inductance, which means better high-speed performance while holding torque. So keep that in mind, guys. Your rated power is going to be much easier to attain with a lower voltage. Inductance just breaks down to resistance. So when you're looking at some of the Chinese version steppers, the one thing you got to consider is when they have a 22 millihenry inductance or even higher than that they're really designed for slow use and when you go to do your rapids you suffer that was where I wanted to round it out with these to where again you've got more or less um, one of the lowest rated inductance bipolar steppers being it's only a four wire motor I mean it makes it very simple to hook up and again I really wanted it more for use with um, all of gecko drivers and these just hit the nail on the head they're just amazing motors so again they will be available I'll be messaging anybody who's been on the list and for uh, any future clients that have any questions please don't be afraid to message me once again my name is Vince um, these will be in my store on eBay eDealers Direct and again don't be shy, guys. Um, these are a new release, so I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you again.
Take care.